Knowing that Gibbons is already building the foundations, Danoon wastes no time in firing up the fans. If the tests reveal the wind loads are higher than predicted, the foundations already in the ground may have to be redesigned. To be putting in the foundations before we could finish the wind tunnel testing, that always gives us a little bit of cause for concern. Danoon is right to be worried. He knows how high altitude wind impacts on very tall rectangular skyscrapers. But Uldar HQ's lower height means another type of wind is the threat. When we look at the really extreme wind speeds in the Middle East and in this region, we find that the highest, what we call gust wind speeds, the short events, are caused by thunderstorms. Wind hitting Uldar HQ's sail-shaped facade puts the building's narrow base under pressure. The wind wants to twist the structure. The foundations must be strong enough to resist these forces. A bit more smoke there, Doug. And then if you could just crank the speed up in the tunnel just a touch. A little bit more. Danoon analyzes the wind tunnel data. Fortunately for Gibbons, it's Danoon's jokes that have no foundation. And I got the results back from the wind tunnel test, and they were within an absolute whisker of my early predictions. And I was just delighted by that. I couldn't wait to get on the phone. They were pretty relieved, I think, because I think they'd been sweating on it a bit. 